Kate, I know you've been kind of busy today. Your your maps have been lighting up all over the yeah. place. Wow. It's just like it's like a a bingo map or something. We keep yeah. seeing new counties being added to the watches and the entire state of Pennsylvania is almost red at this juncture because of all these tornado mm -hmm. watches. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. It is uh, pretty quiet down in Cape May. The winds have picked up. You can see the wind flapping in the breeze, the flag flapping in the breeze there in Cape May. They have seen a little sun down the shore today. It's been relatively quiet there. Some clouds and sun on and off through the day, but the worst of this is going to miss the shore points. It's all off to the north and west. Those are the areas where we're zeroing in on as we go through the remainder of tonight. So let's check in with our eyewitness weather watchers now. They're reporting a lot of cloud cover out there, but most of our weather watchers not seeing any rain or thunderstorms just yet. Let's head to the north. We'll check in with our friend Phil. He's up in North Wales, just reporting a mostly cloudy sky, 77 degrees, which is above average for the time of year. It's 80 as we check in with our friend John Carroll. He is in Mullica Hill, again, looking mostly cloudy. And just some photos from our weather watchers. You can see this one from Ed showing those towering cumulus clouds. He said the sunrise did have some clouds this morning and it's been kind of on and off cloudy all day. The sky looking a lot like this. The skies over Newark. The skies are looking a little. He left us with a cliffhanger there, Walter. I'll say ominous. I'll fill in the blank. It does look a little ominous out there, although most of the storms are staying away from that part of the area. Let's take a look again. We just saw more red that red area being expanded into much of south central Pennsylvania. It was just kind of the north and central tier of the state. Now we've seen tornado watches been ex have been expanded into portions of southern Pennsylvania in even in our region or at least periphery of our region. Lancaster County added to that tornado watch. Still Philadelphia and nearby suburbs not in any watches or warnings, but the problem is we now have this complex of storms firing near Pittsburgh looking very, very nasty, and these are going to be traversing the southern tier of the state. So really, this has all been off to the north and west for now, but we have to keep a very close eye on this as we head through the remainder of the evening. Once the sun goes down and we lose the heating of the day, we'll lose a little bit of the fuel for these storms. But right now, you can see a couple of tornado warnings, one just north of Williamsport with this particular cell right here, another just north of Punxsutawney, headed very quickly towards State College right along Interstate 80, and we have a severe thunderstorm warning. It ends just along the border here before it gets into the Poconos. You can see a lot of lightning, heavy rain, and the threat for strong damaging winds with this particular cell, which is going to be moving within the next hour to Mount Pocono and very strong storms up near Scranton as well. This storm, again, this particular cell right here does have a tornado warning associated with it. So nothing warned in our particular area right now. However, all these storms are continuing to push east, so we're going to be kind of racing the clock here tonight. The storm threat is increasing north and west right now. Between 8 and 10, if we pick up a storm in Philadelphia, that's our best chance to see one. By midnight, the storm threat will end area-wide as these storms continue to push off the coast. It does look like the best threat for severe weather is still the northernmost tier of Pennsylvania, right along the Philly, Pennsylvania, New York border, I should say, here later tonight and over toward New York City. But a few of these storms could fire up a little bit further south, as we've been seeing near Pittsburgh. So certainly bears watching as we go through tonight and make sure you tune in at 10 and 11. We'll have the latest on the what's happening on the radar as these storms move ever closer. Overnight, they move out to sea. Tomorrow is a dry day. We'll see a good deal of sunshine out there through the day. Thursday, most of the day is dry. Then this front approaches doesn't look severe, but we could pick up a shower or thunderstorm Thursday evening before that clears to the south and then cooler, drier weather moves in starting on Friday. Nothing cool about today with winds out of the south. Temperatures are well up around the 80 mark. 80 in Philly and Millville right now. 79 in Wilmington. 78 in Allentown. Low 70s. That's normal for this time of the year. So we're above average. It's steamy as well with a current dew point of 66, which puts us right in the humid range. So certainly enough fuel for these thunderstorms to turn severe as they continue to move eastward. So a thunder shower early tonight. Again, best threat for severe weather is north and west through the next two to three hours. 67 degrees will be the overnight low. Tomorrow looks good. It's mostly sunny, nice and warm. A few clouds in the morning and then the sun peaks out through the afternoon. 81 degrees. The high for your Wednesday. Thursday, near record heat, a high of 85. The record is 88. Late day or evening thunderstorm Thursday. Then it is cooler and cloudier Friday and Saturday before we head back to 80 for a beautiful Sunday, feeling more like early September than early October. Yuki and Natasha, back over to you.